Hi guys and welcome to Friday workout five. Today is our last workout for the week, thank goodness. And then we get two days off for the weekend to recover and recuperate. Today is my long run, so never looking forward to that. I'm going to try and do 12 miles today. So last week I was able to do 11 miles pretty easily. Um, what's one extra mile, right? So this week I'm thinking, what's one extra mile? Let's go 12. So I'm going to try and do 12 miles on the treadmill. I don't think it does get a little long and a little boring, but I always have my audiobook, um, so it's not usually too terrible. Um, the thing about the treadmill um, at my gym is that it shuts off after 60 minutes. It takes you into automatic cool down and then it shuts off. Um, so what I usually do is I just do six miles and then physically stop it. Um, it's usually like 50 some minutes and then I'll stop it and then um, restart and do the second six miles. So that is why you see the two screens at six miles each. So that'll be 12 miles for my 12 mile run total. So I'm gonna be in the gym for a long time. I plan to do the run at 6.5 miles an hour. Um, again, that is what I would consider my slow-ish speed. Um, but if my legs feel a little bit tired or um, it's just not happening, then I'm okay with dropping it down to 6.3 miles an hour or even 6.0 miles an hour. So that's my plan, hopefully 6.5 miles an hour. I didn't seem to have a problem with that last week, so it should be a-okay. That's a little teeny, teeny, tiny dog. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> distractions. So um, I have been having a bit of fruit before each run this week. I don't know if I've really noticed a huge difference, but I'm sure it is helping. Um, I was going to have an apple directly before my run today, but I'm, I'll probably have it like half an hour before my run. And then I'm also going to use um, this electrolyte drink as I run, um, just because, sorry, the plane. I swear, welcome to city life. It's never quiet out here. You guys are always like, ah, oh, there's so much going on in my house. Kids, dogs. I'm like, ah, oh, there's so much going on out here. Planes, trains, automobiles. It's annoying. <laughs> Anyways, so I find that when I run uh, super long miles, usually anything over about eight to 10, then sometimes I do experience some cramping, which is a sign of dehydration. So um, it's always a good idea to use this on long runs and I think I will be fine. I'll probably drink about half of this just as I go along. So that is my plan for my long run today. I'm expecting very tired legs, um, but looking forward to just getting it done. The feeling I get after I do a long run is awesome. Like it's total exhaustion, yes, but I feel number one, like such an athlete, <laughs> if you guys can relate to that. And number two, I feel, see there's the train. First was the helicopter, then the train. Um, anyway, I feel really thin after a long run. And I can tell you a lot of that is because I sweat so much during a long run that I really, my belly feels flat, my ankles are thin. So um, anyway, I just get a lot of benefits, a lot of different benefits from doing a long run. So that is why I continue to do them. I don't know that I will keep increasing the distance after this week. I'm probably good with 12 miles. Um, so I may bounce back and forth between 10 to 12 miles for my long runs. Um, but 12 miles is where we're going today. I'll check in with you guys after I'm done. Okay guys, I am finished and I am so tired. I'm exhausted. That was a very tiring run very tiring I did 12 miles I did the first mile at 6.5 miles an hour and I could tell from the first two tenths of a mile that my legs were exhausted they were like tree limbs they were not moving right but I decided to give <coughs> 6.5 a fair try so I did 6.5 for the full first mile 
Then I knocked it down to 6.3 for the second mile, and that was still too much. I, I couldn't see myself finishing 12 miles at that speed. So then, on the third mile, I took it down to 6.0 miles an hour. <coughs> that was actually comfortable for quite a while, and then it just got very, very tiring. Um, after the first like seven, eight, nine miles, I was so tired. Um, the last, let's see, mile 11, I bumped it up to 6.1 miles an hour, and mile 12, I did at 6.234 and 5. So I just kept creeping it up a little bit, but I just wanted to get it over with at that point. So now I have two days rest. Thank goodness. I did not do the rowing machine um, because running at 6.0 miles an hour and then the extra mile just took too much time So I just flat ran out of time So I need to hit the showers Eddie's waiting for me and head home to veg out You guys I am so tired. I Am not enjoying these long runs right now